Good morning. This is your Elmira Baptist Church update for January 27th, 2022. And I'm out of state today, but I will be back by Sunday. And I thank you for joining me for this week's update. Because I am currently out of state, if you have an emergency, please reach out to Guillermo or to one of the deacons. But I will be there Sunday and I look forward to seeing you, or at least if I don't see you, if you're joining us virtually, you will see me. So a little bit shorter update today. We will be looking at the widow's might from Mark chapter 12, just finishing up that chapter. So in order to prepare your heart for the message on Sunday, I would encourage you to read Mark chapter 12, verses 41 through 44, and also to pray and ask the Lord to prepare your heart, to soften your heart for his message. Then in the evening, we have a singspiration. It's the fifth Sunday of the month, and for this singspiration, we are taking your hymn favorites. Uh, I think it's past the opportunity to write those down, but there was a sign-up sheet. We got quite a few of those, and we'll be singing those on Sunday evening. Also, since it is a singspiration, read Colossians chapter 3. Note particularly Colossians 3.16. And then you come and prepare to hear about singing, principles of singing to God. So that'll be on Sunday evening. Following that inspiration, we want to have a time of fellowship. So bring finger foods, plan to stay for a few minutes after the inspiration to enjoy talking with each other. We're still working our way through our 31 days of Proverbs and I hope that you have read already this morning, or perhaps you read last night, one chapter from the book of Proverbs. As always, Sunday morning worship, Sunday evening worship, the Sunday school hour will be live streamed, and afterwards those will be posted as well. Because I know there's a lot of illness currently, not just at Elmira Baptist Church, but around the country. And if you are unwell, or you are in danger of being unwell, let me encourage you to stay home and join us virtually. If you're healthy, come on out. We'll meet on Sunday, January 30th at 9.45 for Sunday School, at 11 o'clock for morning worship, and at 5 in the evening for a singspiration. Quick look at the book of Proverbs. I hope, again, that you've been reading. This is Proverbs chapter 24, verses 30 and 31. <clears throat> Solomon says, I went by the field of the slothful and by the vineyard of the man, void of understanding. And lo, it was all grown over with thorns and nettles had covered the face thereof and the stone wall thereof was broken down. Solomon says, I went by the guy who's lazy. I went by his fields and I noticed they're not taken care of. There's no diligence. There's no effort, no care. And what do you get from a field that is covered with thorns and nettles when the stone wall is broken down and just anybody and any animal can come in? Well, you are not going to harvest a crop. This is a literal example, but think about this figuratively. What would be the condition of my mind, the condition of my heart, the condition of my will if someone came walking by and took a look at, at me? What would they notice about that if they could see my heart, my mind, and my will? Would they see that it's all grown over with thorns and nettles, that the wall's broken down, there's no defenses there, I'm not keeping my heart with all diligence? Would it be open to whatever influence might come in? That's a problem. You know, it takes diligence to maintain a healthy heart, a healthy mind, a healthy will. Diligence in Bible reading, diligence in meditating on the scriptures, diligence in prayer, diligence in developing understanding, diligence in obedience, obeying what I know to be true. Are you being diligent? Or are you spiritually slothful? We want minds that are saturated with scripture. We want hearts that are in love with God, and we want a will that is directed to obedience but it takes diligence. Be diligent today to read, to meditate, to pray, to be obedient as God directs you. And don't miss your opportunity to join with us on Sunday, either virtually or in person, but set aside time Sunday to meet with God's people. We'll meet at 945 for Sunday school at 
11 o'clock for morning worship and at 5 o'clock for our Singspiration. I'll see you there.